Alright guys, just a really quick color correction tutorial for Sony Vegas. Um, you, you can have Sony Vegas 8 or Sony Vegas 9. Uh, I'm going to assume you already have your clip, uh, just your raw clip from your uh, footage. Um, basically you want to find a nice point during the clip and just make sure that there's no motion blur. Something where you can easily tell if you add effects to it. Um, I'm going to be talking about three types of color correction. One is a natural look, one is an enhanced natural look, and one is just a ridiculous look. Um, the first one, natural, just basically means you want to correct whatever mistakes like your capture card made. Like if the video is too dark or it has a grayish tint or you know something, um, you want to correct that. Um, the first thing, the first tool we're going to use for the natural look is going to be brightness and contrast. Um, you'll you'll find it in your uh, video effects panel. Um, I already have a preset here, but please, please, please don't go out and just grab the preset and then go. Oh wait, this looks crap. You have to adjust it for your own. You can take these numbers, plug them in, and then kind of move the sliders around to see what you like. The only two sliders you need to worry about here are contrast and brightness. Contrast center, don't worry about it. Just look at if it's bright, if it's too bright, if the contrast is good, if it looks too gray. Basically, this tool is just used to take out the gray that um, ha uh, happens when you, uh, the gray part, the, the video sort of has like a gray overlay that happens when you record with a capture card. And this just basically reduces it. You can see even here, like, my template didn't work too well for, for this clip because, well, Favela has a very bright um, sky. So I have to turn on the brightness all the way just to regular, but it still removes that nice gray tint. Now, the second sort of uh, color correction that I'm going to show you is the enhanced natural look, which means it's the regular, it doesn't look too crazy. You just want to have it look a little bit cooler, maybe like sort of cinematic movie-like. Um, for that, we're going to grab a tool called Color Curves. Um, this one is really just basically brightening the brights and darkening the darks. Um, I already have a preset. Obviously, you can make your own presets. But this one, I can recommend just starting out with the uh, Reset to None. And then your your top point are your brights. Your lower point are your darks. Go ahead and grab that top point and just sort of scoot it up or down, depending on how you want it. I want to do the brights a little bit brighter just to bring out a little bit more color. And then I want to grab the bottom one and just kind of turn it down to to decrease some of the color in the in the dark colors. So you can see the difference here. Um, so that that adds a nice uh, kind of look to it. Makes it look a little bit more um, intense, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the uh, second kind of color color correction. Um, the third one is just all out. For this, I'm going to use a tool called VM Soft Contrast. You can download that. It's uh, you have to buy it. It comes on Sony Vegas 9. You can download it for Sony Vegas 8. Um, basically all you have to do is download it and it'll install. You can use it for 10 days and then you just have to reinstall. So there you go, um, VM Soft Focus, uh, I mean uh, Soft Contrast, sorry. Um, and basically uh, this uh, kind of smudges the picture and just uh, makes it a little, look a little bit diffused. You can see it here. Looks really nice. Uh, here's my, um, here's my uh, preset that I've got. It works pretty well. You can see all the numbers here. Um, uh, but again, if it doesn't look right or if you need it a little bit more diffuse or a little bit more color or whatever, adjust all these, play around with it, you know, that you can't do anything wrong. If it, if, it do, if it ends up looking terrible, just reset it and start, you know, start fresh. Um, so yeah, plug in my numbers, move the sliders around a bit and see if you like it. Now that basically wraps it up. Now, if you want to get really, really stylish, you can actually use something called saturation adjust. Um, you see a lot of people using this on terminal to make the colors really pop and then the dark, you know, the grays and the whites kind of lower. Um, it's kind of cool. Um, this is uh, available both in Sony Vegas 8 and 9, just standard. Um, so go ahead and grab the uh, saturation adjust. Basically, this will just add more color to certain parts of the footage. So if there's something black, it'll make it more, more, more black. If there's something gray, it'll make it a little bit darker or a little bit more, you know, if there's something that has only a little bit of color, it would kind of suck out the color. And this is my preset here. Um, as you can see, it adds a nice bit of detail to the colors. You can see on the on the urban camo on my gun there, uh, adds a nice little, um, just, a, just a nice little uh, tint and uh, poppiness that's really pleasing to the eye. You can also see the green on the building next to me is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, this you can play around with. You can play around with, you know, however much you want the saturation, the amount to be. But yeah, that basically, uh, that makes it, you know, the ultimate color correction for like a montage or something. You could use this in a gameplay, but obviously I think since somebody's watching a gameplay, they expect to see the game as it was. So there you want to maybe just do the regular color correction for natural. And maybe if you want to enhance it. 
But yeah, there's all of the effects, just brightness and contrast, color curves, VM soft contrast, and if you would like, uh, saturation adjust. And that will basically give you uh, this nice video. So I'm going to play the footage here with all the effects. Um, hope you guys like this tutorial. Stay tuned for more.